What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another Borderlands Top 10 video and this time we're taking a look at the Top 10 Legendary Shotguns in Borderlands 3. For each DLC gun, I will include a base game shotgun as an honorable mention. These are my personal picks, but as always, I would love to hear what you guys like to use as well. So post a comment down below, let me know what your favorite shotgun is. And if you enjoy these types of videos, please take a second and tap that subscribe button for more. With that, let's get started. Number 10. Coming in strong at number 10 is a shotgun that a lot of people seem to be sleeping on, the Red Line. This is a base game shotgun that fires a fast succession of sticky gyro jets that increase damage by 5% per stuck shot. This allows you to do some wild stuff, like applying a bunch of sticky rounds and then swapping to an Unforgiven or Love Drill to abuse their crit damage bonuses. But even without abusing that, this weapon is a solid shotgun if you're into torque weapons. You can farm the red line from Road Dog in the Splinterlands on Pandora in the base game. A solid DLC weapon, as an honorable mention, would be the Critical Thug from DLC 5, which is stronger, but also it's not full auto. Number 9. Coming in at number 9 is another Torg weapon, the Tig's Boom. This shotgun will call down projectiles from the sky when you hit enemies, allowing you to get vastly increased damage on slow moving or stationary targets. Also, your shots will pierce enemies to hit other enemies behind them, which also makes this a solid crowd control option. The Tig's Boom only drops from Wotan in the Malawan Takedown. Honorable mention for a DLC option would be the Spade Shotgun from DLC 3, which can also penetrate through enemies. Number 8 at number 8 is a shotgun that I do not see too many people still using, but it's actually still very, very strong. The Lob. And yes, this is my third torque shotgun in a row on this list, but I think that's more of a personal preference than anything else. The Lob shoots out big, slow orbs that go through enemies and explode. This makes this a powerful tool for all Vault Hunters and can be used for mobbing and bosses. You can farm the lob from Graveward on the Eden 6 map, The Floating Tomb, or it can world drop anywhere in the game. Honorable mention goes to the DLC 2 shotgun, the Shocker. Number 7. At number 7 on this list is the Convergence. This DLC 4 shotgun spawns converging projectiles on successful hits. This gun was buffed right at launch of DLC 4, making it a very powerful option for a fast firing shotgun that spawns in all elements and is capable of very solid damage. The special effect of this gun immediately recalls the old days of using the conference call in Borderlands 2. The convergence drops from Dr. Benedict or it can world drop in DLC 4. Honorable mention goes to the conference call which is massively improved from launch and can drop from Judge Hightower in Lecture City or it can world drop anywhere in the game. Number 6 Coming in at number 6 is the Trevenator. This gun derives its name from Trevor Eastman, who was a big Borderlands fan who sadly lost his battle with cancer before Borderlands 3 was to come out. Gearbox, hearing about his situation, took an early build to his house so he could play it before he passed away. Then they gave him the option to name and design his own weapon, and the Trevenator was born. At launch, the Trevenator was great for normal mode, but using it in mayhem mode was not so great. However, a recent buff made the Trevenator a very powerful Malawan shotgun, useful for all Vault Hunters. It's awesome to see this tribute to a huge Borderlands fan be as powerful as it deserves to be. My honorable DLC mention goes to the Insider from DLC 2, which was given a very, very tiny buff recently, but it was already really good before that, so it's worthy of this list. Number five. At number 5 is the Anarchy. This TDR shotgun has the special ability of building up damage as you get kills or even just from reloading it. The damage stacks 10 times and at max stacks this gun will have 1370% damage and that just destroys everything on the map. You can tell when you have stacks by the glowing effect of the gun, but there is no way to tell when you have 10 stacks. That said, you can stack this gun by a vending machine if you really want to and refill your ammo when you're done, then run through whatever you're on, just laughing your ass off along the way. This gun and its name are a throwback to Gage from Borderlands 2 and her action skill of the same name. The idea is that as you build anarchy, you're supposed to lose accuracy, but with this shotgun, you don't even really feel like you're losing accuracy. This gun is exceptional on Moe's, but it's also extremely powerful for Zane to use with his Digiclone, a Ties that bind Amara, or a Flak use a Megavore. The anarchy can drop from the Kukawajak in DLC 2. Honorable mention for base game shotgun goes to the Flacker, which was recently rebuffed to give it back its mag size, allowing you to shoot it multiple times before you have to reload. Number four. 
Sliding in at the number four spot is the Reflux. This Hyperion shotgun is always corrosive, and honestly, that's about the only negative thing I can say about it. This shotgun is one of the most powerful crowd control weapons in Borderlands 3, capable of dealing ridiculous amounts of damage with minimal effort. This gun shoots in the shape of a biohazard symbol with seven pellets at a time, or 14 if you have the redundant prefix. Each projectile that hits an enemy has a chance to trigger the chaining effect of this weapon, and the more enemies that are hit, the more links that will be created, and the more damage which can actually even link back to other targets. Pairing this shotgun with the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge will basically guarantee you maximum stacks on that artifact just by shooting into a crowd of enemies. This gun is exceptional in every single Vault Hunter, and it is a great tool to have at your disposal. This Legendary shotgun drops from Genevieve on Voracious Canopy in Eden 6 while you are on Mayhem 6 or above. My honorable mention is going to go to the Brainstormer, which is very comparable to the Reflux, but with lower damage, and it's always locked to shock damage. Number three. Shocking the world and not only jumping onto the list, but also appearing ridiculously high here is the Heartbreaker. This Hyperion shotgun from DLC 1 was so bad early on that people never used it even outside of Mayhem levels and in Mayhem, it was completely worthless. However, a recent buff not only increased the damage of this gun so that it now works on Mayhem levels, but it also increased the healing ability of the Moxie branded weapon as well. So now, just by shooting enemies, you're stealing health as well as dealing damage. Think of this as like a Grog Nozzle from Borderlands 2, but with actual damage ability. Honorable mention goes to the Slow Hand, which also received a buff at the same time as the Heartbreaker and makes another fun tool for dealing splash damage while also gaining the healing buffs from being a moxie weapon both of these guns now get 20 percent healing on successful hits and they can both be obtained in dlc one the heartbreaker drops from gorgeous armada in the compactor map and the slow hand drops from dgen 3 on the impound deluxe map both of these can world drop in that dlc as well number two Dropping in at number two is the face puncher this hyperion shotgun lives up to its name by absolutely wrecking face this gun literally shoots melee damage. Now, it should be noted that this gun cannot score critical hits with the melee damage effect, but if you're stacking elements, like say the next two mags bonus elemental annoyment, then you can get elemental crits with those additional projectiles. This gun is strong in normal mode, but where it really jumps up this list is using it on the higher mayhem levels where it receives significant scaling. Combining this weapon with a white elephant artifact will further increase its damage output, and using this gun versus frozen enemies will absolutely destroy destroy them. This gun could absolutely be ranked number one and not too many people would complain, but since it's not as powerful on normal mode, I've placed it as my number two. This gun drops from Moldock the Anointed on Floodmore Basin, but it can also world drop anywhere in the game. No honorable mention for this one, there's only one other shotgun that truly shares the top of this list with the face puncher, and that is number one. Finally, at number one is the Hellwalker. And this one should be absolutely no surprise to anybody who has used this gun since it was buffed a while back. In a game filled with powerful legendary items, the Hellwalker stands out as one of the most satisfying to use. This gun is a reference to the legendary Doom franchise, which was one of the earliest FPS game series ever. The gun shoots in the shape of an inverted pentagram, which gives it a pretty wide spread from medium to long range, but where you want to use this shotgun is right up in enemies' faces. The feel of zipping around the map, popping enemy heads is insanely satisfying, and it makes this gun feel like a true legendary weapon. And it's not only that it's fun to use, it's also extremely good on every single Vault Hunter. Flak with Megavore, Fade Away, and Leave No Trace can basically spam this into enemies. Amara with all of her elemental bonuses and the personal space skill can obliterate foes. Moe's with fire in the skag den and splash damage bonuses as well as the bottomless mag streak and spam this gun near infinitely. And Zane, well, Zane can do anything he wants with damn near any weapon in the game, but I especially love using the Hellwalker on my nuclear winner Zane that utilizes the new purple skill tree and his no way out augment to pull enemies toward me and then pop them in the face. Basically, the Hellwalker is a god tier item in a game that has a bunch of S tier items. If you find a Hellwalker randomly at say level 20, it's probably going to last you until you either get bored of it, which honestly is never gonna happen, or you start mayhem levels, and even then it's still gonna do a little bit of work. I absolutely love this gun. There is no honorable mention here. That would be an absolute insult to this gun. That's my list of the top 10 shotguns in Borderlands 3. I hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comment section below if I left off a shotgun that you think deserves to be on this list. Also, if you enjoyed these videos please take a second to hit that like button and hit subscribe for more borderlands content thank you guys for watching take care